What makes my book unique is I, I reduce it down to just a few things that somebody needs to be successful. I reduce it down to a tried and true business. Don't try to think of something new. And so many people stop right there. You know, they just, they don't even go to the next step because they can't think of the big idea. So the first thing is a tried and true business. The second thing is the money is available. And I tell people in my book how to get the money from that undiscovered investor. And the third thing is that uh, there's tons of free advice. And most people don't know that. So my book is trying to give people the practical steps to actually go out and do it and as little theory as humanly possible. It's just the practical steps to go out and get it done. It, it really gives you some insight and some practical steps you can take and apply to the process of becoming a millionaire. The millionaire next door is usually an entrepreneur by, that grew just a normal business. It's not, he didn't have a revolutionary idea. He just you know, saw a business model, it was an expertise that he might have known, and he just kind of grew that business. For a while I was like, well maybe I need something new, a new product or a new service, you know, but that's not the case. Um, so it really just encouraged me to know that I have the ability to start my own company. I also think this book is not necessarily tailored for a specific age. I think the book is more practical. Why? Because when people read the book, they're going to be finding what they're looking for. The most useful part of the book, you mentioned it multiple times, of getting advice from people and the free advice that people can get and what all is available to them. I actually was really excited to have the main book because I, um, when I was reading the women's guide, I wanted more. And so when I got the main book, there's so much in that. Um, I just feel like, honestly, I don't feel like there's any other books on them, you know, out there that have as much information that you gave. And you did it as a mentoring, and I call your book my mentor in a book. The best thing about the book for me is the, the fact that it feels, it makes everything feel realistic. Once I started reading the book, I said, you know, he's talking about me. This is, these are my life things. These are the things that I've, you know, come across. I think. If it was talking to you, then you're the right person to start a business. The best thing about this book is, is the, the clear and concise instructions on what it takes to create a business plan that's going to catapult your business from day one. I mean, when they started reading the book, they say, yes, this is what I want. This is what I want to go. I like the fact that you said it's going to take work, because it is. It's, it's not easy, and most people don't get rich easily. It's a lot of work but it's well worth it. The goal of achieving one million in the bank in five to ten years is actually something that is not just a pie in the sky dream. I remember the day it happened, I took a picture of my screen, you know, from the bank statement, I took it home and I showed my family, I was like, I was so excited, you know, it was a huge milestone. Mm -hmm.